Good morning and thank you for joining me, Vicky Higgins, on today, Thursday the 9th of May, which is Ascension Thursday. The reading for today is from Hebrews, so I'll start there. Such a high priest truly meets our need, one who is holy, blameless, pure, set apart from sinners, exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he does not need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then for the sins of the people. He sacrificed for their sins, one for all. For the law appoints as high priests men in all their weaknesses. But the oath which came from the law appointed the Son, who has been made perfect forever. This is the word of the Lord. So here we have in this reading a number of competing themes. Separation and connection. Absence and presence. In the reading, we look at the organisation of religion and high priests appointed to help as a conduit to God, a link to God. At times in the calendar, they were separated from humans, trying to keep them away from sin. But in Hebrews, it says clearly, whilst you're an earthly person, there is no separation from sin. Earthly priests are like us doing their best to navigate this world that's full of temptation and sin. They're likely to have done a better job, but they will still make mistakes. In the reading, this contrasts with Jesus. The high priest's role is to advocate to God, try to connect us to God. But in Hebrews, there is only one true high priest, one true conduit to God. Separated, but connected. Jesus lived a human life, connected to the earth, connected to humans, but he did not carry sin. And it was his sacrifice on the cross that atoned for our sins. The ultimate sacrifice, dying to resurrection. So in this reading, we hear about the separate people being separated from God through sin and connected back to God through Jesus. Today, Ascension Day, Jesus returns to his throne, leaving his spirit and his blessing with us to do his work. The fulfillment of the sacrifice is when Jesus returns to his father. And here's another contradiction. Sadness and joy. Letting go of someone we love, but holding on to what we know to be true. By letting Jesus go, we know he's reunited to God in heaven. A sign that sin has been defeated once and for all. Suffering and love. To love and lose is worse than to have not loved at all. Ascension Day reinforces Jesus' sovereignty, his majesty and his power as he enters heaven on a cloud, real but dreamlike. His blessing he gives us as he departs, as he ascends. And that holds us through the navigation of life. Ascension makes the transition, or is at the point of transition from the Gospels to the Acts, from Jesus' ministry to the ministry of the church. And we're called to carry on his ministry. So as we remember Jesus' ascension, we're challenged to carry on his work, comforted by his final gift of a blessing to us. So as we pray today, we thank you, Lord, for the sacrifices you made to atone for our sins, and we hold on to your blessing to be with us until the end of time, to continue to guide us through the work of your Holy Spirit today and always. Amen.